Hi guys, welcome back to Geronimo's Kitchen. All right, so it's Saturday night. Tomorrow I'm going to be making a very nice roast beef. All right, so what we want to do tonight, we want to prep our meat from tonight so the season can soak in, you know, and get ready. So tomorrow when we put it, we're going to do it in the Dutch oven and we're going to put it in the oven. So in a Dutch oven, so it's like a, an oven in an oven. All right, so to get started, let's just, um, let's just go through our ingredients. Quite simple. I remember we're just prepping it tonight. All right, so we have a nice cut of um, beef roast there. Of course, you can't roast beef without some rosemary. The nice minty floral note that this adds to it will be perfect. Of course, we have some onions. We have two whole onions here. We have carrot and we have celery. And you know, of course, you know, Geronimo never cooks without my garlic. So we have garlic there. We got some thyme. The thyme and the rosemary, you know, quite minty, quite nice for our roast beef. And of course, we have our green onion, scallion. Let me tell you something, people. Just like you have Romeo and Juliet, you have um, Bonnie and Clyde, you have um, Barack and Michelle. You can't roast beef. You can't have beef at all without bell peppers. Trust me. They go together like white on rice. Literally, so we have some bell peppers. And we have our spice plate here. We have some onion powder, garlic powder. We have some cayenne pepper, some all-purpose rub there. And we have some black pepper. I pulled out again the stubs, ancho, ancho, ancho chili and garlic um, marinade. We're going to use some of that. We have some coriander seeds here. We have some herb de Provence here. Some extra virgin olive oil. And of course, we got some soya sauce and we're using our food processor today to get our herbs all and you know our herbs all blended so we can we can stuff you know our beef so let's just work on that first we're just going to take our rosemary you don't want the back all right people you don't want the back we're just taking the leaves off so we just de-leafing it take off the clothes you know yeah. So tomorrow we're going to be doing a nice roast beef dinner. You know the rain's been falling outside, and we want something homey. What's more homey than a nice roast beef served with some nice mashed potato, some nice garlicky mashed potato? Anyways, we're adding our thyme in, and you know you have to cut this up enough you know, because the food processor will take care of all of that. But we're trying to get rid of some of the the stems. Anyways, let's just get that in, right? So we have our rosemary in, our garlic is in. Let's get rid of this over here for now. And we're just going to add some onions. Get our onions in right on the center there. Yeah, just like that. Right on the center, we have a little half we had used some time over here. All right, so let's just get these in the food processor too. Nice and lovely. Then over here, let's get, chop some, green onions and we're just rough chopping we're not um there's no dicing it's all going in the food processor which will take care of the blending and the mixing we're just getting that right in and this that we're making we're making it to stuff our our beef we're making it to stuff our beef all right so we're saving the trio holy trinity right here onions carrots and um some celery of course we're throwing in our garlic right in Let's get a cheek, one cheek of this bell pepper. And we get that in, that's just one cheek. We're taking another cheek of this red one. Same thing, just roughly, bam. And we get that, whoa, we get that right in as well. We pull this forward for you. All right, and then we're just gonna add some olive oil. Olive oil, mm-hmm. Olive oil. Get some of that ancho chili thing in. All right, beautiful. All right, what else, what am I doing here? Some soya sauce, right down in that baby there. Let's add some herb de Provence. Right, right like that. Just about maybe a tablespoon of that. Great. Let's get some, let me get some coriander. I should have grown the diesel, but can't go that you don't. All right? So there we have it. All right? My folks, yes. To that, of course, we want to add just a little bit more of this all-purpose, even though we're going to use this to season our beef. 
some of our spices in. All right, that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. So that's it. That's it. Getting it in, turn that baby on, or we're just going to blend that. We'll go back to that in a second. In the meantime, what we want is that we want to just make some slits, you know, some cuts into this beef because we're going to be stuffing it with that blended mixture all over. Yeah, man. Granny, we tell you all over. Just stab up the meat, you know? That's it. Stabs, 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 stabs. All right? Just so we can get our thing in. Let's just finish with this. I'm calling up. Yeah, man, I'm going out tonight, you know. Just before the curfew was. But before we leave, yeah. All right, I think this is about done. What do you guys think, huh? All right. I think that's perfect right there. Yeah? I think that's just about perfect. So, what we want to do now, we're just going to add a little olive oil over our meat. And look here, people. I rinsed this once. Truth is, you don't need to rinse it. Nobody spend the whole day up, 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 rinse the beef. I don't say. So we just went sprinkle our dry spices all over this baby here, right? That's all we. That's all she wrote. We just want to massage it. All four sides, just massage it, massage it. Huh? Massage that meat there. Yes, Geronimo's kitchen. Tomorrow we're doing roast beef. I think we'll do some roast chicken as well. I'm going to make these nice little pumpkin cheesecake cups. And as I'm testing that recipe for my Thanksgiving dinner that I'm going to have here. Oh, it's going to be delicious. Maybe some nice garlic mashed potato. All right, so here we have it. This is our meat. Right down. The meat we rub with our dry spices and then we're going to pull this off right here let me do it so you can see yeah oh that smells divine too and we're just going to take this baby here and we just want to get that down into the little incisions that we made into the meat you know see there stuff it in yeah man see them there anyway you stab it you just stuff it in Stuff that baby in, all right? Yeah, right in. And look here, I'll tell you something. At Christmas time, this is a staple in any Jamaican house. You know? can't have Christmas dinner unless you have a nice piece of roast beef alongside there. And truth is, roast beef can be had hot, cold, in sandwiches. Because, you know, so the day after Christmas, and so when hungry start bite, some roast beef starts slice up and can't eat it just like that. Cool and nice. You don't need to warm it up. You don't need to. to and we're going to do a nice little gravy. Oh Lord, we can't wait until tomorrow. Yo, the rain will fall outside wickedly. It's been falling for days and I just fell for this nice roast beef. Nice and warm and comforting and homey. Yeah, man, I'll just make some more, some more incisions into it. You know? And we're going to save some of this seasoning here. For you know, my lord. Well, maybe the fact that I'm putting my hands back in the top, we can't see it, but getting it done. Roast beef, you're on the most kitchen. This is like a surgery. <laughs> you know, it's like a surgery we do it. But all the people in, we love roast beef. I want to drop some comments in there, you know, sit here. Plate is messy, but. You can have a look until I get a rinse on my hand. Rinse on my hand there, baby. Yeah? All right. And then we're just going to clean off our counter. Let's move this back to the here. Cover that way back. And let's just get our counter cleaned off. All right, great. Bam, bam, bam. All right. And now, let me, let me know what damage my board here. We're leaving it to marinate with all our, the trio yourself, all the aromatics. 
overnight. Because what you can put this in a bowl with everything, the onions and everything. Yeah? Yeah, man. I eat, man. Roast beef in the animal's kitchen. Yeah, roast beef. You know, have a fancy cut and all them. Something like that. And just saw, then I just saw, then I eat. I use them to make a nice, reduce it to make a nice gravy. Make a nice roux and then we're going to pour that beef stock from this, the juices in it. And we're just going to read. Oh, oh Lord. Alright, so let me get a bowl for that. Something that's big enough to hold it. Alright? So we're just going to use this, right? Take our trio here. Right like that. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to take our beef, lay it on top of it. Oh, my Lord. And we're just going to add all our veggies over it oh lox man lox man lox man then we're going to take this here mm -hmm. rest of our seasoning and just cover it cover it get a rinse on our hand all right guys so here we have it we're just going to take a piece of saran wrap, wrap it over, put it in our fridge overnight, and tomorrow morning I'm going to be up bright and early roasting our beef in the oven just in time for a nice roast beef and garlic mashed potato dinner right here at Geronimo's Kitchen. Peace out. Take care, guys. See you tomorrow. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Good morning. Uh, so it's Sunday. Later, we're having a little dinner party. As you know, like, we prepped this thing last night. Um, it was in the fridge. I think it was giving enough time for all the seasonings to, to soak in, etc. Um, the onions and the carrots. We're not going to do Anyways, we're putting our Dutch oven on the fat. And we just want to add maybe about two tablespoons of extra virgin, maybe two and a half, three. <laughs> yeah. For this segment, you don't need much. Really, all you need is a towel. Let's scrape our veggies off. All right, that's what we want to do. And if you don't know what we're doing, we're doing roast beef. All right, so we're scraping most of our veggies off. We want to... And I'm roasting this in my Dutch oven. So it's kind of half roast, half, um, we call it braised, but just scrape off all the extra seasoning we have here. Scrape it off there, scrape off. No, we don't want to scrape off all of it now. We want to scrape off some to make sure that we don't have a lot of burning in the, in the pan. Because these things will burn. And remember, we already have it stuffed inside. And we're going to put it back in for the long, slow cooking. All right, so we're going to take this right in, right Mm. All right, that's all she wrote. You get a rinse on your hands, and we have whole heap of things to cook today. I think I'm going to do a nice rosemary roasted chicken to go along with that. Um, some stir fried broccoli and, and carrots, which goes very well with beef. Yeah, but in the meantime, see here, and just mix up that seasoning with our veggies. Oh, yeah. Get it all nice for when we're ready to lay on top of our king. Alright, so guys, the good thing about yeah, what we're doing is getting a solid brown. And really what we're doing is that we're sealing it. We're sealing the the, the, the meat by getting a nice crust on it so the juices don't don't run out. All right, so my God, this smells so good there. It smells so good. I'm not moving them. You can see it. All right, let's dry it on them. Yeah, yeah. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells divine. Yeah. So we'll make a nice cup of tea, you know. And, you know. Get ready for the day. Yeah. All right, so braising. Um, there's this little au jus, which is kind of a beef stock. I'll call it au jus. I mixed out some in some water. It seems as if I mixed maybe a little too much because it's kind of dark, but it has that nice concentrated beef flavor, which is just perfect. 
for what we are going to do. Let me crank the heat up on this. You know? Oh yeah. Oh look at that. Look at that baby there. Mm -hmm. Alright, so patience is the virtue with this. Patience. And today what I'm cooking really, it, it doesn't take any any effort. You, you'll find like with this roast beef I'm going to do. You have pot roast beef that you have to keep adding a little liquid and turning and turning. But this we're doing it in a Dutch oven. So literally all we're going to do is just put it in the oven, leave it there for maybe like an hour and a half just to see how it performs. Look at it after that time and see if it's tender enough. But lots, trust me, we know that it's going to be flavorful. And so you don't really need a lot of, you don't take a lot of effort. All right, and what we want to do, we want to get a sear on that meat on all four sides. All right, all four sides. If you like, you can use like a cooking string and tie it up quite tight and so you get a nice round roast. But uh, I don't think that's necessary for this. It's not really necessary, all right? So we're just working with that. Beautiful. Oh my lord, pulling out all those flavors now. Pulling out all those flavors, all the flavors from this beef. We're pulling it out, we're pulling it out. Yeah, nice community. Oh, all right, so I'm going to rest that right down there. And then I'm going to go in with the veggies. In with the veggies. Oh, oh Lord, oh, yes, Papa, I eat that, 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 my, 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 and what we're going to use this liquid, this old room thing, and just get all that extra seasoning we blended last night in, and then we're just going to go in, just going to go right in right in with it oh magic match made in heaven then we're going to take our cover right there and we're just going to cover this baby just going to cover it and we're going to lift it off and put it in our oven all right Let's all right guys so we're coming down to the end down to the end chicken is already roasted we have some broth on our counter over there to be sauteed look here Come in on this beef and let them see it. Oh Jesus, our beef is tender, fork tender. Now we're going to make the gravy. And listen, for this gravy, the beef, the drippings from the beef, has all the flavors of the vegetables, the aromatics, all the spices, that garlic, the onions, the peppers, everything already. All we want to do is just bring our pot right here, and we just want to strain off that juice from the beef into a nice little skillet here. All right? Normally we'd make a roux first. A nice little roux in the pot and then add this, this in. But today we're gonna cook a corn, all right? And Jamaican people know this very well because the house is, uh, my guests are here and we can't bother to go through that long way. But look at that, come right in on this. We'll just call it, call this the beef jus. Juice of the beef. All right, there we go. So the beef is done. We've removed all the au jus, the beef, the drippings from the beef, that, you know? And here's the shot of the Jamaican people like to say. To think that you can use a little cornstarch, today I've mixed a little good old flour. We're just gonna add that in, to thicken it up, and we're just gonna allow this to come to a boil. Just whisking all the time, just to make sure that there are no lumps. It's nice and silky and creamy. And then I'm going to add just a, a tiny cube of water for that nice little buttery creamy finish. And it's going to be divine. It's roast beef right here in Toronto's Kitchen, delivering the flavors. You were with me last night when I was seasoning this beef. You were with me this morning when I put it in. Now you are with me when I'm making this bomb ass delicious gravy. Toronto's Kitchen, huh? they run the flavors, man. From my kitchen to your homes, look at that. Come right in on the gravy and see how silky it is. Look there. We're not gonna have a, I will, Guess what? I will not even add any butter. I'm just going to leave it just like this. Look at it. 
Yeah, look at that. Silky and creamy, and of course, you're just going to take this. If you're weak or not, you can it. Delicious, delicious. Thank you, Drama's Kitchen. My folks, my folks, all right. So yeah, I know you're here, the group, we're grooving down now. Dinner is done, but this is the start of the show. This is our roast beef. Ah, uh, it's beautiful, beautiful. Tonight, I can't actually taste because I've guests so they have to taste it and tell you it is. But yeah, this is our, I did my Dutch oven, it was beautiful. Oven inside and out, from Geronimo's Kitchen to your kitchen. Right, we have roast beef, I made a nice little cucumber, tomato, and uh, crouton salad there. We got some stir fried broth, so, and here over here we got some roasted chicken, rosemary. And then, you know, the bomb gravy that I tell you about. Peace out, we're going to subscribe to my channel. Like all my videos, share with your friends, draw the most kitchen with all the flavor. Pa, 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 pa. And come on, guys, let's go. What you said here, Andy? What do you think about that beef, that roast beef? The beef is great, he says. Where's the Simon about the beef? I beef, I start, you know. Lakeisha? The beef is definitely the style. All right, Julianne, what are you saying, baby girl? You say you like that beef, it's gone. <laughs> she like it so much, it's gone. 